Some say the best way to send Father Christmas a letter is not to use regular mail. All that you need is a fire and a chimney. Wait, let's explain with a strange festive tale. On the night before Christmas, our story takes wings as snow softly falls on the town of Hope Springs, where the light from a window glows warm and inviting. Inside, a young spaceman is busily writing. At last, with his letter to Santa complete, Cadet Henry Franklin ran out to the street to make sure his house would be seen from the sky in case Father Christmas forgot to drop by. One house in the neighborhood, though, remained dark. No candle, no light, not so much as a spark. A gloomy old residence, spoiling the view. Oh no, figured Henry, this just wouldn't do. With tinsel and baubles and goodwill to spare, Henry was only too eager to share. But the lady that answered the door was perplexed and quite unprepared for what happened next. There in the room stood Henry, delighted, ready to help, though he'd not been invited. And so he began to dispense Christmas cheer, until the old girl made her feelings quite clear. Even now, as the lady sat sipping her tea, Henry was out implementing Plan B. From above came a deafening hullabaloo as two festive callers descended the flue. But on the way down, Henry's bird was aware of a dusty old thing that should not have been there. From the hearth, in a powdery cloud of debris, came Henry, his bird, and the top of the tree. Mortified, Henry gazed down at the pieces. Was the girl one of the old lady's nieces, or maybe her daughter? The lady just smiled and told him the tale of a sad, lonely child. Alone in the world, with no sister or brother, the girl had so longed for the warmth of another that one Christmas Eve she decided to send a letter. Dear Santa, please bring me a friend. But nobody answered that poor girl's request, explained the old lady. You've probably guessed that I was that child, which is why I insist you forget about Santa. He doesn't exist. That poor girl, thought Henry, just wanted a friend. His own letter now seemed too silly to send. What was the point? So completely bereft, he set it down sadly and silently left. Inside the mansion, already regretting, her words to the boy, the old lady sat fretting. But what was this curious, frantic display? What was this pesky bird trying to say? As a dusty old envelope dropped to the floor, the lady was sure that she'd seen it before. It must have been stuck there unsent all these years, she thought, and it almost reduced her to tears. And so, for the first time since that fateful night, the fire in the grate was once more set alight, all thanks to a bird who now cleverly reckoned that one letter ought to be joined by a second. 
rising up through the chimney, entwining and spinning, two letters caught fire, two wishes beginning. Their journey toward the North Pole on that night wreathed in a glittering, magical light. Still haunted by thoughts of his pointless endeavour, young Henry awoke to the worst Christmas ever. Or so he imagined until he caught sight of the present that Santa had left in the night. But it wasn't just Henry whose wish had come true. The old lady's Christmas was wonderful too. Her letter she now knew was truly enchanted. Her simple request for a friend had been granted. You better believe that it's never too late. Wishes come true, and they're well worth the wait. Hope springs eternal. Of that there's no doubt. Message received, Santa. Over and out. <laughs>